Hey filmmakers, today we're gonna to take a look at this tripod from iFootage and see just how good it really is for video. All right, let's do it. Honestly, I've used a ton of tripods over the years and there's pros and cons to all of them. So when iFootage reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review of the Gazelle tripod, I was kind of hesitant and just thinking, ah, it's just another tripod. They're all pretty much the same, right? But when I really started looking into it and saw what the design was, I knew I had to get my hands on it so I could show you guys just how awesome this tripod really is. So this tripod actually comes in two parts. The legs are called the Gazelle Fastball T7, and the C is for carbon fiber. And they also come in an aluminum model, which is quite a bit cheaper. So the aluminum model is only $179, whereas the carbon fiber version of the legs is $299. For about $120 more, you get the carbon fiber version, which allows you to shut off one pound of weight, taking it from 5.1 pounds down to only 4.1 pounds. So if having a lightweight tripod is a big factor for you and you do like a lot of landscape videography and you put this in a backpack, then shedding that one extra pound might be a big deal for you and worth the $120. Otherwise, I'd say probably go with the aluminum model and just save the money. Now, there is a difference in the max payload of the legs between the two different models. So the carbon fiber can hold up to 19.8 pounds, while the aluminum can hold up to 15 and a half pounds. Both models of the legs will go up to a max height of five feet and one inches, and it has three leg sections. Something that I love about these latches is that they actually have a full metal build, so I don't have to worry about cheap plastic latches breaking on me like you find on a lot of other tripods. And they actually are just really firm. A unique feature that I haven't found on many other tripods is the fact that this little rubber foot will actually spin down and then reveal a nice metal spike. So if you're working in rugged environments and you need some better grip, you can just expose that. And then when you wanna go back indoors, you can just spin this right back into place and have a nice rubber foot again. Now on most other tripods, this part clicks on and off and you can switch out a rubber foot to a metal spike. But I just love that you're not gonna lose those parts and it's all built right into it. The legs have three different angles that they can be positioned at and that's easily done by pulling out this release here and then twisting the leg up and it'll either latch into here or into the top one for being all the way out. And like I said earlier, this thing can get as close as half a foot off the ground. And then when you're done shooting those low angle shots, you can simply press the leg down and it'll go right back into its full compressed position. The tripod legs come with a nice padded carrying case that fit the full tripod with the head attached to it. And then it has a shoulder strap on the back as well. The tripod legs have a 75 millimeter bowl on top so that you can mount the head. And at this point in the game, I prefer only using tripods with a bowl head on them. And that's because it makes it so much easier to level out your camera when you have a bowl instead of going around to each leg and adjusting its height to make sure that your camera is perfectly level, especially when you're on uneven ground. The Komodo K5 tripod head is a beautiful design because it has a quick release. So you just pull the little red lever on the side and then you put the head in and then just put it on and do one twist and right away it's tightened into position. So that makes it so quick and easy to attach the head to the tripod or take it off and break it down or put it onto another pair of tripod legs or onto something like a Dana dolly that uses a bowl head mount as well. So another instance where you might wanna pull the head off of your tripod legs is if you wanna put it onto a hi-hat. So I can quickly pull the tripod head off and then put it right onto the hi-hat and then just put this into place and give it one twist and boom, it's locked right into place so I can get extremely low angle shots or in really tight spaces and just use this little hi-hat. Of course, there's a bubble level on the K5 head so you can actually see when your camera is level with the horizon. Something awesome about this head is that it actually uses the popular Manfrotto 502 quick release plate. And of course it comes with its own plate, but if you have a bunch of other Manfrotto quick release plates for all your other camera, equipment, and gear, you can slide those right into place as well and you don't have to worry about switching out to some proprietary quick release plate that comes with some other off-end 
tripod brand. The Komodo K5 head is only 1.6 pounds, so it's actually really light and compact. What I love about it is it feels like iFootage cut away any extra garbage that you don't need. It has a really slim and small sleek design, but the max payload is still really good at 11 pounds. Now you might be wondering, 11 pounds, that doesn't sound crazy heavy, but honestly, some of the bigger cameras aren't that heavy. The Sony FS5 is only 1.8 pounds, and the Canon C300 Mark III comes in at only 3.2 pounds. So that's not even close to the max payload of this head at 11 pounds. Now, of course, once you get it all rigged out with a monitor and batteries and extra things, you might start getting close to that, but it gives you tons of room to completely rig out your camera and still be supported on this head. Now, of course, this is a fluid head, which is an absolute must if you're doing video work. The K5 has really nice fluid motion built into it. So you just loosen the knob on the side and you can see just how smooth this is. I've taken my hand off it and it's smoothly going down. And of course I can smoothly bring it back up. And that's just beautiful. Now, the only downside of it is it's really not adjustable at all. On some other higher end fluid tripod heads, it allows you to adjust the resistance. The only way to do that on this is to kind of tighten the knob down a little bit and tighten it into place. And then it becomes just a little bit tighter and more difficult to move, but you can't adjust the drag at all on the tilt. And the same goes for the pan. So let's lock off the tilt now and loosen up the pan here with this little side knob. And of course it's fluid right away so I can get beautiful panning shots that are nice and has a good resistance to it. Again, there's no ability to adjust that drag at all though. It's just across the board, pretty fluid and feels really good but you can't adjust it or customize that at all if you want to. So I do think that is one downside to the head, but of course this is a really cheap head. It's only about $159 on Amazon right now. So that's a great cheap fluid video head. I think it's actually one of the cheaper ones I've found for what it's capable of doing. When you properly balance your camera on your tripod head, it really shouldn't tilt backwards or forwards when the tilt is unlocked. So we need to better balance this. So I'm gonna undo it here and pull the camera back here until it rests in a spot that the tripod head doesn't move. So that's a good spot for it and I'm gonna lock it off. If you're unfortunate enough to forget to tighten your camera down onto the tripod, it of course has a safety built into it so that it can't just slide right off of the tripod head and shatter on the ground into a million pieces and make you cry. So that's beautiful to know that that safety is there and catches and doesn't go anywhere. Now, when you do wanna release it, you just hit the red button here on the side and you can of course slide the camera completely off. Another simple but nice to have feature on the head is the fact that you can switch the arm to either side of the head. So if you prefer to have it on the left or the right, you can quickly do that. The total price of the aluminum tripod legs with the Komodo K5 head is only $333, which in my opinion is an absolute steal when you're looking for a fluid video head tripod. But if you wanna spring for the carbon fiber version, it is gonna be a bit more expensive at $453. But honestly, that's still a really competitive price, especially when you compare that to the popular Manfrotto 502 series tripods. But in my opinion, I would choose this tripod over those any day. Honestly, when it comes to talking about the cons of this tripod, there isn't much to be said. And I did already mention the biggest one, which is there is no ability to adjust the resistance or drag of the pan and tilt axis. But what they have built into it by default is personally really smooth and nice in my opinion. So I don't think that you absolutely need that for every camera setup. Now, a few other simple things that I would like to mention is that when you're using a ball head like this, of course, it makes it really easy to level your camera, but it usually gets rid of the ability to have that center column. So if I want to add just a little bit more height to my position, I can't do that by simply raising the center column because there is none to be raised. I have to raise the legs and bring them up to a higher height. But let's say I get maxed out at that five feet, well, I'm stuck there and can't 
can't go any higher. So yeah, you're missing out on the added height of the center column, but you're of course getting the huge advantage of the bull head. One other thing that they could simply add to this tripod to make it that much better would be a hook. That way I could hang a sandbag from it to make it that much more stable, especially when I have a slider on top so the camera doesn't tip over to one side. Honestly, now that I've been using this tripod for a while and really put it through its paces, I think this just became my new go-to tripod for video. So if you're interested, definitely check out the link in the description below. And guys, if you wanna see more videos like this, hit subscribe right now, cause I have a ton more videos coming out on shooting, editing, gear reviews, everything like that, and you don't wanna miss it. All right, I'll see you in the next video.